What is going on Predators? Travis from Apex Predator Outdoors here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about a product that I've been uh, testing and kind of reviewing in the field here uh, and it's something that was uh, graciously given to me by the company Hunt Stand and that is uh, their printed maps. These high resolution printed maps are a really good thing to take in the field to supplement uh, your hunting and your outdoors, your hiking, your scouting, everything. Uh, and you put it as something tangible in your hand. Uh, so this is really great for people like me. I'm kind of old school in the sense that, you know, I like to be able to have something tangible in my hand as well. Um, that way it's not as distracting as what my phone would be, you know, when I'm trying to swipe and pan through a map or pinch and zoom and things like that. You know, I like to be make sure that I'm more present in that time uh, while I'm out in the woods. And so this is a really good thing to kind of help with that. So the other great benefit of these maps is that uh, they're much more durable than a phone in the sense that uh, uh, you can puncture these, you can stab them, you can get them wet, and they are not going to short out on you. They're going to keep working and it's going to work great. Um, so this is something to keep in mind is, like I say, again, a supplement uh, to those digital maps that you carry in the field. Um, so there's three different types of these maps. We'll go over these more in just a little bit. Uh, but first, I just wanted to give you a little preview and I want to talk to you about the process of getting these maps ordered, okay? Uh, if you look down in the comments below, you will see chapters here. So you can jump from one chapter to the next. Uh, you can find the thing that interests you the most about this video. Uh, I like doing deep dive review videos because um, I think it gives you a lot more information and it prepares you to use these things a lot better. If you also uh, click up in the corner over there, I believe it will be, uh, you will see my deep dive review of the Hunt Stand app. Uh, check out my reviews. I got a whole playlist of those. Uh, I'll be putting a link up to that, or a tag up here or over here or something like that. Uh, but go check those videos out because uh, I got a lot of really cool information there. So without further ado, guys, let's do further. All right, Predators, so what we're going to do here right now is we're going to uh, start this off with a little tutorial about how to uh, get your maps and how to make them uh, turn that map into something that you can use in the field uh, via the high resolution printed map from HuntStand. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to obviously uh, go to the HuntStand uh, app here on your desktop or PC or iMac or whatever you've got, okay? Linux system if you want. Uh, so anyways, go to this and uh, once you go to the hunt stand website, you're just going to find whichever hunt area you want to uh, go to. So if you don't know if you can already have uh, basically seemingly unlimited number of hunt areas and then just select the one that you want to use uh, and open that map. Once you have that map open, just go to the top right here where it says high resolution printed map. Okay, click on that and this enters you into the map printing tool. All right, so you can see over here on the left side, you see uh, choose, first thing you do is you choose a print size. So here's uh, your different options here. So you've got a 16 by 16 inch square. You can do 18 by 24, uh, 24 by 18, 24 by 24. Okay, you see all these different sizes here. You can do up to 48 by 32 inches in landscape. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be 32 by 48 would be basically just a little bit under three foot by four feet. That is a big map. Three feet by four feet is huge. But if you need a very large hunt area, let's say you're doing some public land hunting, you're doing elk hunting out in Colorado or something like that, this is a very good place to start here, okay? Uh, so anyways, using this this larger map is going to be great for, for where you're hunting a large portion of land. Uh, I know one place I'm looking at is, you know, for elk hunting up in Colorado is this place said it was a... Uh, I can't remember the name of the area, but uh, it's got over a million acres of this land. So there might be a situation where I have to print multiple uh, maps here in order to get that to work. Uh, but anyways, our um, let's see, let's start here. Let's go ahead and do this 24 by 36. We're gonna do a portrait because this area that I'm looking at right here is kind of roughly more, more tall than it is long, okay? Okay, so it's a little bit taller than it is long. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and select the 24 by 36 portrait, okay? And this is what it gives me. It gives me this huge uh, map area here. So I'm gonna redraw the bounding box. I, I, obviously this area I have selected 
you can see this boundary all the way around here uh, that's what it's this whole hunt area is for me but I don't want that whole thing I want to zoom this way in down here okay so again I can zoom this area in you can see all my individual little hunting areas here okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say redraw the bounding box okay so again I'm gonna go ahead and recenter this right over here okay there we go that's a little bit more like in fact I can go in a little bit smaller get as much of that map in the center as possible right about there is pretty good I like that I'm happy with that okay so now that I've drowned this is the bounding box this is basically the borders of my map that's going to be printed next thing is the map material okay this is like a one two three four kind of thing so here are our different options for map materials. Obviously, you've got the paper vinyl hybrid, uh, you got canvas, and you've got a ready to hang stretched canvas, okay? So we'll talk more about these three as we go through this video. Uh, we will be talking, we'll be doing durability testing with the different maps. We'll be doing um, a lot of different things, the resolution and clarity and different things like that to test which map is gonna be right for you. So both of these two first maps, the paper vinyl hybrid and the canvas, are going to be great maps to take in the outdoors with you. Um, they have a little bit different uh, resiliency. Uh, both of them are waterproof, though. They're sunproof. You know, they're UV resistant inks and stuff like that. Uh, so both of them are going to be great outdoors uh, use. The last one here is this ready to hang stretched canvas. And basically what it is is they take a little bit higher resolution canvas than what you've seen here. It's more of a gallery quality uh, canvas here that you can use and you can hang that in your trophy room. You can hang it next to a mount or you can put it on the base of like if you have one of those pedestal mounts that comes from the floor or something made out of a tree or whatever it is, uh, then you can put that with that and it's kind of a great thing to have. Also great to just hang in your house. I've actually got a you know, one of these like store-bought maps on the wall up here right now. Uh, I'm actually going to be replacing that soon with uh, the ready-to-hang stretch canvas of my uh, hunt area. So we'll see that in a little bit. Again, this is a two foot by three foot uh, map that I've got selected here. So for this really big paper vinyl hybrid map, um, you can see I've got, um, it says for the Paper vinyl hybrid is great for both indoor and outdoor use. It's durable, tear resistant, UV ink, uh, and is waterproof. Uh, great for framing or just hanging. And I think this is probably the most flexible option here. So again, I can use that for indoor stuff. Uh, I can use that for outdoor stuff. What's really cool too is you'll see whenever I do a heat test on here, that whenever I put heat uh, to this paper vinyl hybrid, it becomes very pliable as well. So I could even use this uh, probably to wrap like a, a skull or something like that in or act as a base for a skull if you're doing just a rack mount for for antlers or something like that that little piece that uh, represents the skull that you put over it you know uh, you could use that uh, and wrap this in that I'm, I haven't tested it I'm not sure if it'll work but I, I think it would actually work pretty well for that uh, alternatively you have the canvas and again this is a two foot by three foot uh, you can see the price changes as I change the size. So let's say if I wanted to go back and let's do 24 by 18, which is still a, a really good size map. Okay, let me resize this a little bit, fit it in the box a little bit better. Okay, I think that's pretty good right there. Actually, let me see if I can change it to portrait. Really finessing that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the choose print material. You can see for this size of a map print here, it's uh, significantly cheaper. So, uh, but anyways, I got the paper vinyl hybrid here. Okay, uh, again, this is like I said, the best value. The canvas here is also a very great uh, deal here. This is more uh, lightweight, something you'd use in the back country that needs to be really durable, where the ink can't scratch off. It's completely waterproof, and like if you throw this thing up against a stick or something like that, it's not gonna. Um, or, or if it brushes up against some brush while you're packing out or something like that you can bet that this thing isn't going to get easily punctured so paper vinyl hybrid I think is again the best value uh, but the ready to hang stretch canvas is a really good deal as well so let's go ahead and select this one because I think it's the best value of them all you can get multiples too so if you got two people on this uh, hunt with you you can uh, print multiple there or you can print one uh, you know this coming to be the holiday season you can print one for yourself and one is a gift or to give multiple gifts However you want to do that. So you got a couple options here. You can one of the options you can show the hunt area name, and so whatever you named this hunt area, uh, you can put that name on the top of the map. 
you can also check a box here to show the acreage so uh, whenever you go to print it underneath the hunt area which will be up here in the top corner you will also have the acreage right underneath the hunt area name there uh, you can show the marker labels which is all these little uh, markers that I placed on there and it'll show the what it is under there like the name of that thing so like if this was parking area right here then it would say parking area very clearly underneath that uh, you'll see that in a little bit greater detail coming up soon next over here is the print boundaries only and so basically what this will do it will remove all your little uh, marker and all your labels from the markers and everything and we'll take those off the map and it'll only show the boundaries like you see this purple line right here it'll only show those boundaries so this is really helpful if you want a blank slate going into the woods uh, if you want to print a clean map you know for hanging uh, or again if you just want to uh, see just like where the public and private land boundaries are this is a really good option for that and lastly I would like to include the contour lines and so this is going to show you geographical contours here so that you get a little bit better uh, topographical representation of what is on your map there okay and then whenever you're done with all of this the next thing the last step you can do is put in an email address here okay make sure this is one that you monitor regularly because what's going to happen is this is where they're going to email your proof to so you can approve everything and then once you do that then you can submit your payment information and you will have your maps being printed and they will be shipped to you okay so right down here it gives you a total for what it's going to cost uh, and then like I say, whenever you're ready, just click right there. It says build map order. And then what it does is it'll take this order, submit it to the printers. And uh, before you know it, you're going to have these maps in your house. Okay. So next thing we're going to talk about, we're going to go through all the different testing and everything. And we're going to talk about um, whenever you are uh, using these maps in the field, um, how durable are they? Okay. All right, Predators, real quick, we're just going to be doing some testing with these maps. The right? first thing we're going to be testing for is just resistance to heat. Uh, I'm going to do this a little bit in an extreme way just to kind of show how the uh, ink on the prints will actually react to certain things. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm just going to rub my torch across it and uh, you know, see how it fares against that. So here we go. Okay, so first up we're going to be testing the uh, vinyl. Let's see how it does. I'm just going to pass this over here. You can see anything really going on here. It's kind of flattening it out, which is good. So you can see there's no real warping or anything. It's kind of changing the texture of the vinyl a little bit. Okay, so it's actually made it. <laughs> what it's actually done is a little bit of heat here. You can see the print is still fine. There's no issues with that whatsoever. As you can see here, I can say it's got a little bit of singeing. Just a little bit of singeing on there. Let's see if I can get this to focus. A little bit of singeing on the edge. Okay, but really all the heat did was just kind of flatten it out so you know from being rolled up it has this kind of curl to it and whenever I put the heat on it it just smoothed it out but it's really nice to know that if, if this is exposed to a lot of uh, sunlight you know like say you leave it laying out at camp or something like that and it gets really warm that it's not going to have any issues with that okay so now we're going to test the canvas same thing get the torch on it here okay So you can see the canvas on the other hand did warp a little bit. Again, this is a much thinner material. Okay. So it did get some warp in it. And again, these are temperatures way exceeding anything that you would see in normal circumstances. So uh, I did a pass through it. Initial pass through it, I didn't see any, any kind of warping through it. I did it went pretty quick down the middle here. Uh, passed it back and forth. And then whenever I hesitated, went a little bit slower over here over here in this area that's where it started warping a little bit but as a map i could still easily use that that's still easily usable as a map so anyways all right let's do the next test let's test uh resistance to water and then we'll test the strength of it as well here we go we're setting these outside we're going to test it it is raining outside right now it's kind of a nasty gray day out here right now so yeah we're going to be testing these and Seeing how well they fare with some rain on them. All right, it's been out here raining on them for an hour. Let's let's pick them up. So you can see it's just absolutely just pouring water off of it. 
Let's see, so this is the canvas one. There is no destruction of the ink. Paper itself is doing fine. Looks good. Very wet. You can see my hand there. All right, let's look at the vinyl one here. Let's see how it held up. All right. So far, so good. And the vinyl one is also very wet, um, but it looks good. There's no wrinkling. There's uh, the water just kind of beat it up off the surface, and uh, so both of them are looking really good shape. So I'm gonna hang these prints up on my target here. here okay now I'm gonna hang some weight from it down here and we're gonna see how uh, how well that does so let's give it a shot all right so first we're gonna try seven and a half pounds here let's see how this does seven and a half pounds plus however much this clamp weighs that is so it is stretching it it's holding Hands off. Wow. Basically eight, a little over eight pounds that that was able to hold up. And that's with holes in it too. So if I clamped it, obviously it'd probably hold a little bit better. But yeah, it did pretty good. Held up eight pounds with holes in it. That's good. Next we're gonna try out the uh, canvas one and see how it goes. Oh man, that's tough. That's much more tough. So I just shoved my arrow into it and there's a little dimple. That's about it. Might have to put a broad head on here. Let's see. So look at that. I just stabbed it with my arrow <clears throat> and there's still no hole. You know, do this one man in here. There we go. Oh, finally pierced it through. All right, off to a good start. Nope, still didn't make a hole. Still didn't make a hole. Put a hole in my target, but I didn't put a hole in the canvas here. This is hard. There we go. All right, into the target behind it, okay. All right. Clamp this on. I think this is going to do pretty good, honestly. Let's see. Weird way to test durability, but you know what? I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. All right, so that is easily, easily holding seven and a half pounds, okay? It's like effortless here. There's no tearing like there was with the other one. You can see it's nice and tight, stretched like a drum, but yep, so. I'll step it up a notch. Next, we're gonna do 10 pounds. So I get a close up so you can see. This is not touching anything, it's just hanging there. 10 pound weight. So I know this is kind of a weird test, but I don't know how else to test a map. So durability wise, man, this is doing great. Got a 25 pound weight here. We're gonna test it. I'm gonna definitely have to hold this up because if I don't hold this up, it's gonna jerk it to the floor, so. Oh, here we go. All right, let's see. Can the canvas, can the canvas print hold 25 pounds in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it is holding 25 pounds. 25 pounds, if I let go, this is going flying for You see how heavy it is. 25 pounds. All right, let's be honest, guys. Is there any situation in which you need this to hold more than 20 pounds? Or is there any situation where you need this for anything else? I mean, this is almost at this point a survival map. So, can the canvas map hold some weight? Is it durable? Absolutely. So, last thing I'm gonna do is just test, test the abrasion test and see how well these handle up against, uh, if they were rattling up in a pack uh, with some knives or something like that. Let's check that out. All right.
right, so we're gonna test a little bit of abrasion resistance. So I've got my uh, Outdoor Edge 3.5 inch Razor Light, Razor Elite, sorry. This is a very lightweight um, concealed carry kind of, not concealed carry. This is kind of a, a lightweight everyday carry uh, razor that you can use uh, as like a pocket knife. You can see super, super razor sharp. So I'm just gonna do some basic abrasion tests here just to see how they handle. So maybe I threw this in my pack and uh, left it open and maybe these maps are rubbing up against it. Let's see how it does. So first I'm gonna do just, I'm just gonna hold it with two fingers and just graze it across here and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna do the same over here. Oop, make sure that's steady. Okay. Nothing. On the vinyl map, there's nothing. Nothing on here. All right, so let's do a little bit more. I'm gonna do... Again, this thing is razor, razor sharp, so. So yeah, absolutely nothing. I mean, it's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a lot in order to cut these. One last time. Let's get a little closer in here and look. So you can see where I, finally where I had to slap it down. I did about three different tests with the razor, just like grazing it across, across the, the map. And finally when I slapped it down is whenever it finally made a hole. This will do two of them, you can see. There's two holes there. Now let's see the vinyl map. Same thing. There's not a single, there's not even a mark on here from where I hit it with the razor. I hit it twice and I don't see a single mark on here. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the, uh, the quality of each of these different maps. So. Uh, the two main ones I've got here, um, these are the two main different types here. I've got a, I've got the canvas version right here, and I've got the uh, vinyl printed version here. So you can see the backs of them, you can see the material a little bit better. Uh, this is again a uh, kind of a coarse canvas, uh, and then this right here is a uh, real smooth vinyl, uh, kind of a rubber vinyl here. Um, so it has a little bit more density to it. This is definitely a lot lighter and it rolls up a lot easier. Um, but you can also see once we get a little bit closer here, you can also see that the clarity is a little bit better on the vinyl and it's because it doesn't have those grooves and sulcuses or whatever that you call them uh, that the uh, canvas has. And so you can get a little bit more clarity out of the map uh, on the uh, vinyl version. So you can see that between the two maps, I've got a little bit of a uh, color difference too. So the um, vinyl version has a little bit more kind of a muted colors, whereas with the canvas, the colors are super punchy. If you look at these greens and that purple, they're super, super uh, colorful. But again, I lose a little bit of contrast in these areas. Uh, whereas if I look at the same part of the map here, if I put them, side by side down here you can see a little bit of the difference here and so you see there's a lot more color down here but there's a little and a little bit more contrast actually here but there's a little bit more sharpness and resolution on the uh, vinyl mat here okay so they say that uh, the vinyl mat is a little bit less durable like I think what it is is that 
there is a possibility for the uh, print to scratch off of the vinyl, but I haven't seen it yet. And so I've even tested this a little bit. I've got my trusty pocket knife here, just kind of hitting this with a knife. You can see it does scratch off a little bit, but again, I'm hitting it with a knife. Again, if I look down way in this corner, scratch it with a knife on the flat surface, and it's not really making much of it. It's made a tiny little scratch there, uh, but nothing serious. So uh, if I were taking this in my bag and uh, I really wanted to have the highest resolution possible, I, I would take this one right here. It rolls up, it's nice and easy to pack. The canvas one is definitely a lot more lightweight and it definitely folds up a lot easier and a lot smaller, but uh, doesn't have quite the resolution. Now this is supposed to be a lot more durable. I think the print is a lot more durable on the canvas here. So you can see I'm scratching it with my knife here and it's not doing anything to it. So the canvas technically or essentially has absorbed the inks that are, have been printed onto it. Whereas the, uh, the vinyl one, it's printed on top here, so it can scratch off, okay? But either one of these is a really good option to, to have as a backup for whenever your uh, digital maps are not available, like say your phone battery dies or something like that. Uh, or if you're just old school like me and you kind of like having something physical as a backup. So the third thing we're gonna talk about is packability. So again, with the packability, this is a pretty straightforward one, okay? With both of these maps, you can just, you can just roll them up like this and stash them in like a side pouch, side pouch of your pack or something like that, and they're good to go. The big difference that we're gonna have here is the vinyl map. The vinyl map here, you probably don't wanna fold this because if you fold this, it's going to have some creases in it. I don't know if you can see this on here, but it doesn't fold up. It'll fold up pretty nice, but when you unfold it, it's going to have these creases in the back of it here. Okay. So a little bit of a downside to that. It also is a little bit heavier material uh, than the canvas. So there, whenever you're packing it in, this is going to be a, a little bit heavier. If every single ounce weighs, or every single ounce that it weighs makes a difference, uh, that's going to be something that you're going to be concerned with, but for most people, um, that's really not going to be a big deal, okay? This would also be a very good option if you're going to hang this. Uh, again, this is a very nice, very clear, very sharp, high-resolution picture, uh, so it would also be kind of double a great thing to use for that. So lastly is the canvas, uh, the outdoor canvas, I call it. Uh, so this has got a very, very nice, rich color into it, and I think it's because uh, of the coating that they put on here. Um, you can tell pretty well the difference in all the different uh, layers. Got it upside down there. It's pretty easy to tell the difference between everything on here. Uh, the, the weight is just significantly lighter. The great thing about this canvas map is it is just absolutely weightless. So if having this printed map is something that you really just don't want to think about, then this is a really great option because it can fold up and this is like, I mean, it, I feel like it's going to blow away. I mean, this thing is absolutely super super lightweight you can see even in this most gentle breeze this thing is kind of waving around um, the downsides to this is that it is a little bit lower resolution just because of the uh, thickness of the texture on the canvas here uh, and also you can see that also it does get dirty right so with the vinyl map i'd recommend rolling it okay this is a material that will probably crease if you fold it too much uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Whereas the canvas here, I can roll it like I've just showed you like this. I can roll it up okay, very easily. Or I can actually fold it as well. So if I'm trying to fit it in a very specific pocket of something. I can fold this up into like quadrants and I can stuff it in a pocket flat like this. And then whenever I undo it, it leaves a little bit of a crease there, but nothing that's going to really hinder my map uh, using abilities. Okay. A windy day today. Great for using paper maps. <laughs> uh, so anyways, really cool the product to have out in the field. And like I say, 
for instance, if I were going to pack this up and take it in a bag and a pouch or something like that, I would want to make sure I have the print on the inside so I don't scratch it or poke it on a limb or something like that. Um, as I'm, if I have it just stuck in my bag, so I can fold it. You know, I'm not creasing it super tight. Just doing general folds here. And then this will easily pack right up into my bag and go on the hike with me. The third option that you're going to have for these maps is going to be the gallery wrap. Uh, this is a very nice option for if you're going to put this with a trophy uh, or if you're going to use this uh, to hang inside uh, in your office or something like that um, as a reminder of like a land or something that you that you've hunted. Uh, or also if you've got your own land that you're managing, you know, you can hang this up and you can actually, uh, as the map updates, you can actually change this over time. This is also a nice, clear, high resolution print here. Uh, not quite as durable as the outdoor canvas one. It doesn't have quite the same coating on it, I believe, uh, because it doesn't ha it has more of a matte finish versus the uh, one that you would use for outdoors. Uh, definitely has a little bit more reflective finish on it. But you can see it's got a wooden frame here that's made out of an MDF, a medium density fiber board. Um, very durable and uh, a little bit definitely more heavier weight, but it's a, it's a very good option to display uh, in your trophy room, uh, in your office, or somewhere in your house. Uh, in closure, all three of these different maps are a really cool option and it's a great way to take those digital maps that you've got on your hunt stand app, print them out and take them home with you. Uh, print them out and use them in the field with you as well. So great option. Uh, the pricing for these, such a large map here is uh, very good. They have different sizes and they have different options. Uh, as far as printing the maps and obviously each one comes with a little bit different price point uh, but i think all of them are definitely very reasonable uh, especially if you're printing out a much larger map so there it is guys these are the hunt stand hunting maps i really suggest you try these out um, they got a really good deals going on right now so check it out go to your hunt stand app and check out the hunt stand uh, high resolution printed maps uh, thank you guys for tuning in and as always, guys, keep defying the odds.